I'm Remy, and this is my brother Emil. Hi. We're here to speak out on behalf of oppressed rats everywhere. Oh, rats who man. don't have the access to media oh. that our movie We're affords speaking us. Out. Yes, we have to. We rats need to take a stand. You said we'd sing something, you know, joke around. You did not say we were going to take a stand. This is important. Humans need to know. Humans need to feed us. That, that's what you need to do. Leave some garbage out and we won't bother you. Just leave the lid on top I of the can done. loose. All right, all right, moving on. This is a man. Hello. A dog, man's best friend, looks up to man. A cat looks down on man. We rats see ourselves as equal to man, but you humans don't seem to see it that way. This has not always been true. When has it not? In India, the rat is the chosen mode of conveyance for the Hindu god Ganesh, and thus <laughs> sacred. During the Roman Empire, it was said to be good luck to have a white rat cross your path. <laughs> not so good if a black rat crossed it. Rattus Rattus, the black rat, arrived in the west first, hitching a ride with the returning crusaders. In Europe, finding plenty of filth, grain, filth... Don't forget filth. ...and more filth to eat, the black rat quickly prospered. Wait, wait, it's all wrong. This isn't how we rehearsed it. What? It doesn't go from rats and darkness to rats and death skulls. Oh, uh, well, uh, my script says rats and death skulls. You forgot the flea! The rats didn't cause the plague. The flea caused the plague. The flea is the whole point! Uh, just give him the flea. <laughs> no, <laughs> not that one. There it is. Ah, that's the skull. Xenopsilla chiapis, the rat flea. See, this guy here gave the plague to this guy here, a rat. Killing the rat. Once the flea senses the cold, dead rat, it prefers to find a warm, live rat. But if a human happens to come along, well... Eep. From 1347 to 1352, eep. the plague, or Black Death, killed a third of the population of 14th century Europe. Eep. And just as many, if not more, rats. So, so what stopped the plague? No one really knows. Maybe soap, closed sewers, a change in temperature? Or some believe this guy. Rattus norwegicus, hey. the brown rat, better known as the Norway rat. Hello and that. That's us, right? Right. Ah! The Norway rat came from China and according to mythology, brought the gift of rice to man. Wait, wait. The Norway rat came from Ooh. China? Yes. The rat even holds the place of honor as the first year of the Chinese zodiac, a symbol of good luck, wealth, intelligence, charm, charisma, ambition, adaptability, versatility. Shall I go on? You're not making any sense. We came from China, but we're called Norway rats? I'm getting to that. British naturalist John Birkenauer named us Norway rats, believing we had come to England on a Norwegian boat. The silly thing is, the brown rat didn't live in Norway at the time. More than likely, we came from Denmark. But the name just stuck. Wait, now we're from Denmark? Let it go. Kicked out of Europe by his brawnier cousin, the black rat joined explorers and colonists seeking opportunity and some elbow room across the globe. It wasn't until 1775 that the first Norway rats arrived in America. Much to the chagrin of the established black rats. Adaptable like humans, Norway rats live throughout the world, except the North Pole and South Pole. What about that spot? That's Alberta, Canada. In 1950, rats invaded on the southeast border of Alberta, but were repelled by an impressive government rat control program.
societies are intertwined, a symbiotic relationship of give and take. You give us your trash, and we take it, then eat it. I don't understand it myself. Can we sing the song now? No, no, we'll no, no, you no, 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 stop. Now, why rats are cool. Every day, rats Hey, tend... wait! You said I could do this part. <clears throat> it's a little something I'm calling What's Cool About Rats. Every day, rats eat 10% of our body weight. <laughs> Gotta love that. Our favorite foods are scrambled eggs, macaroni and cheese, white bread. I'm getting hungry. Our teeth can cut through solid wood, lead pipe, cinder blocks, even steel. With the biting force of 24,000 pounds per square inch. A rat can swim for three days. And yes, we can enter your home through the toilet. Very flexible, we can squeeze through any hole we can get our head into. One pair of rats can have 15,000 descendants in a year. That may not sound good to you, but it's good for us, since the world is out to get us. Whoa! On Annie We Talk Atoll, atomic bombs were tested for 10 years. But we rats survived and suffered no ill effects from the massive radiation. Some people have pet rats called fancy rats. Why are they called fancy rats? Keep going. Okay, uh, Jack Black, royal rat catcher to Queen Victoria, liked to keep some of the rats he caught as pets. These he would give to the fancy people of the day. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember now. Many, many rats have dedicated their lives in investigating humanity's most dreaded diseases. How is this possible? Well, we share a similar biology. We grow old the same way. Treatments can be tested in a rat's lifespan of a year or two that would take 70 years in a human. Rats have even been to space, teaching people about how the body adapts to weightlessness. So as you can see, we've been together since the dawn of time, and we'll be together far into the future. Kia G, fellas, and swing it. We'll follow you to Mars, or wherever you people go. We rats are right there down below. We've traveled near and far, with swamis, geisha, thugs, and sars, and planes and boats, and submarines. We've sailed from Liverpool to Queens, we're even in Qatar, or wherever you people go. We all adore Francois Truffaut. Abandon Lucifobia and embrace a new utopia. Butterflies and puppy dogs, summer evenings, crispy frogs. Imagine, if you will, a world where women, rats, and men and children live in peace and harmony. We're even holding hands. We're dancing through the streets and singing cabaret songs. Ooh la la la, join with us. We'll make a human ratty wonderland. We'll help you tie your shoes when you don't feel like bending over. And perhaps you'll take that trap from out behind the pantry door. We'll say bonjour and how's the family when we pass each other on the street. And just like that, we won't be strangers anymore so here we go to mars with our stories intertwined and all the ones who tried to kill us now we know that you won't mind we'll journey through the stars and whatever else may be we all hate that lousy flea so what do you say can we make peace and the views expressed are not necessarily the views of Pixar Animation Studios no, or the Walt no, Disney Company. No, Interaction between rats and humans should be deemed an alternative activity involving no, no, no. Not how, to Emil, how many times did I say they were going to slap something on the end, uh, and now they're doing it? Now, look at this. Uh huh. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's in their DNA. Rat tank, to trichinosis, leptospirosis. <laughs> Whoa! I, I, I'm, a, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Guys, it's typical. Business is usual. You know what? You know what? Our voice will not be denied. You've had your say. Can we please get some to eat? Alleged to be caused by your silly insistence on rat interaction.